Hello and welcome to Thoroughgood Associates short video on some of the new features in Tableau 8. My name is Matthew Keene. I'm a consultant with Thoroughgood Associates. Thoroughgood is a partner of Tableau and we help our enterprise customers to make the most out of this data visualizations tool. Uh, today we're going to look at the improvements in sets in Tableau. First, the in and out functionalities of sets provided in Tableau 8. Also, new combined sets that allow you to take the union, intersection, or subtraction of two sets, as well as using sets in calculations. So now let's jump right into the demo. Here I have my blank Tableau workbook open, and in this demo I'm going to look at my sales for my customers. I put my customers here on the rows. I'm going to sort this from the top down. I want to create a set of the top customers by sales. This is as easy as making a selection, right-clicking and creating a set. Let's say I only want the top 10 customers. I can go in here and actually edit this set and delete that last member so there's only 10 total. I'm going to name this set top 10 customers by sales. Hit OK and we see this created now in the sets pane in the bottom left. I also want to look at my customers by profit so I'm just going to drag profit onto the columns here and it's pretty easy to see that my top customers by sales are not the same as my top customers by profit. So what I'm going to do is create a new set on customer name by right-clicking create set here. Um, and I can either choose a general list, create a condition on the field, or what I'm going to do in this case is use the top bottom function. I'm going to choose the top 10 by profit here. I'm just going to rename the set and it's created. Now that I've created my sets, I want to utilize them. I'm going to drag and drop top sales onto the filter here. I'm going to show in and out of the set show all. I'm then going to right click and show this is a quick filter. You can see that with the in and out functionality this allows us to show all of the members that are contained within the constraints of a set, all of those that are not contained within the constraints of a set, or all of the members. Now I'm going to drag the top customers by profit onto my color. You can see the bar chart is colored accordingly and if I look at only those that are in the top sales as well we can see that only five of my customers that generate the most sales also generate in the top 10 profits. Uh, this other group, the group that generates in the top 10 sales but not in the top 10 profits, is really intriguing to me because this group is where I have a great opportunity to grow my business. In order to see this better, I want to create a combined set by right-clicking on my top customers by sales and creating a combined set. An important thing to note here is you can only see this create combined set option if you have two created sets that share a dimension. What I'm going to do here is create the combined set. I want to combine my top 10 customers by sales with my top 10 customers by profit. You can either see all members in both sets, just the shared members, but what I want to see here is the members included in customers by sales, but not in the top 10 by profit. And I'll rename and click OK. I've now changed my visualization to a scatter plot with sales in the columns and profit on the rows. You can see I've taken our new group data set and placed it on the color control of the marks card. I've also created a calculated field based on our new grouped set. This capability of creating calculated fields off of sets is new in Tableau 8. This calculated field assigns a customer name to all customers within the set and the name other to all customers that are not within the set. We can see I've dropped this onto the shape control of my scatter plot. I've also changed my top customers by profit set in this visualization to be governed by a parameter called top customer count. If I go, right click, and show the parameter control on my workbook, I can dynamically change the parameter and the set and see the changes reflected directly in my workbook. As you'll see as I scroll down my top customer count, the number of customers in my top sales not profit set increases. This concludes our demo. Thank you very much for tuning in to Thoroughgood's take on the set improvements in Tableau 8. If you have any questions about Tableau or how Thoroughgood can help your business, please do not hesitate to contact me at matthew.keen at thoroughgood.com or visit our website www.thoroughgood.com.